So Lambert, one of the effects on judgment is memory errors of commission. How would you describe what a memory error of commission is? We typically tend to think about the memory as a sort of video library of our events. So uh, if I want to memorize or, or remember things, I would go into the video library, take the tape and, and replay it again. Well, memory doesn't work that way. Roughly s explained, memory is like a, a repeated excitation of the pathways in your brain, which means that there can be new connections built and you can actually insert things in, into your memory that haven't actually happened and there is good research in that arena. But, uh, so you can have false memories. Um, one of the uh, nicest examples of a study in that domain was uh, people were, sh were shown a video clip of a car hitting a tree and afterwards got questions about the video clip and there were three treatments. One was how fast do you think the car was driving when it touched the tree? The second one is when it hit the tree, the tree and the third one was when it crashed into the tree and the average speed estimates were considerably different from each other whereas all the participants had seen the same video. So apparently our memory is plastic, it, 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 it can be molded, it can be changed and, and actually if fake memories can be introduced. Again, I'm, 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 let me take the, uh, the caricature of a very strategic student. Suppose you have to, uh, again in medicine, perform an abdominal examination and someone is there and scores. And one of the things you've forgotten to do is to uh, check whether uh, what you're doing causes pain with the patient, like uh, feeling the liver. Um, and afterwards the examiner says, well I didn't score that because you didn't ask whether the patient felt pain. Well, if you're very audacious and strategic as a student, what you could try is, uh, well, I did do that. Uh, actually, when I did it, we just discussed how we always have to look for at the face of a patient because they might not tell you that they're in pain, but you will see it. So you're introducing a false event to anchor uh, the false memory. Uh, well, that's... That would be very strategic, but it, it, it's an example of how errors of commission can occur. They can also occur due to the examiner, because the examiner has a global impression about this student. He did well, or she did well, um, but I haven't seen her asking for pain, or I haven't heard him asking for pain, but he did so well. He must, yeah, yeah, he must have done that. Just creating his own false memory. And that's an error of commission. Thank you, Lambert.